Congratulations. Congratulations, Huddersfield Town. You have earned a point that takes you ever so closer to Premier League safety. Guys, remember Huddersfield got promoted to the Premier League last season um, via two penalty shootouts and, you know, a negative goal difference. They still have a negative goal difference. Uh, goal difference worse than West Bromwich Albion's, worse than Southampton's, and worse than Swansea City's. So this point is big. And guess who they got the point versus? My Manchester City. We now move up to 94 points. Six short of that historic 100 point. We're still one goal shy of that, you know, record 103 goals for the season, which um, is held by Chelsea. And we have drop points. And this is the first time this season we have failed to score at home. Really good stuff by Huddersfield, who lost the reverse leg earlier in the season 2 1. We're just going to come up with the goods today. Even though we had 80% possession, we still could to come up with the goods. We had more shots at goal with 15, but we could only get two shots on target. Huddersfield Town, they had five shots at goal. They had three on target. So they got more shots on target than us. We were just wasteful today. Not clinical enough. I don't know if the boys were just a bit off key and they were in sellers. <laughs> celebratory mode you know seeing that they're gonna you know be crowned today but you know all in all well deserved draw by Huddersfield Town they defended in numbers they held their shape and they gained that valuable point man they they now has a three-point buffer above Southampton and Swansea who play this Tuesday so it's a big point it's a big point. If both teams draw, that means they still have a two-point buffer. If one of them wins, they still have a three-point buffer over another one, which, you know what I mean, is pretty good because they will still be above West Brom and, of course, Stoke City, who is already relegated. So, really big point. This could be the point that saved Huddersfield this season. But I still think they can gain three points or even a point versus Arsenal in that final fixture of the season they could even gain a point or even three points versus Chelsea so David Wagner you and your men are still safe I think you're still safe but Pep Guardiola you know he must be a little frustrated by the performance of the boys today um what could you say man it's just an off day you know Edison he was in goal we had John Stones Otamendi Kyle Walker Delph in there today Fernandinho, we had Kevin De Bruyne, we had David Silva, Gabriel Jesus, Leroy Sane, and Raheem Sterling. Pretty, pretty strong 11 who have done wonders this season and still, still, they couldn't come up with the goods versus Huddersfield, you know, and you must give them their props. They, they played really well today and they definitely deserves the point, you know. They are one of the lowest scoring teams in the Premier League this season. And, you know, they just can't find the goals. But it seems like they really know how to defend. Seems so. Seems so. So next season, if they survive, they definitely need to invest or do some really good scouting and bring in some proven goal scorers. Because these guys currently at the club isn't isn't providing the goods that Huddersfield need but great great job for them I think they will survive definitely think they will survive now they have Arsenal they have Chelsea next um, Swansea they have Southampton who is in the relegation battle and they have Stoke who is already relegated Southampton they have Swansea as I mentioned and they have Manchester City the way we play tonight, it seems like we could definitely give up a point versus Southampton. So, Southampton, they're not safe yet, but they definitely need points versus City. And they need to definitely win the game versus Swansea. I'm still going for Stoke. West Brom, I don't think West Brom is going to pull off the great escape. I like Darren Moore and all. He has done 
a marvelous job in the five matches he have managed so far. He has gone um, without um, a loss. So it's pretty, pretty good. But I think it's late. Too late, too late. So I'm definitely, I, I think I'm going for uh, Stoke, West Brom and Southampton. Mark Hughes has never been, never ever been relegated as a player nor as a manager. And his former team, Stoke, has been relegated and I think this is gonna be the time when he's gonna get relegated with Southampton because what they did yesterday versus Everton they give up that three points late in, in uh, injury time they deserve to be punished for that and I think they will go down they will pay for selling off all their best players over the years and never properly replacing them so I think their time is up I think it's up you know the party is over and with Swansea, I would like to see them stay up because Cardiff City has just uh, earned promotion. So it would be nice to see two teams from Wales in there. That would be a really nice derby to look forward to. You know, so we have Wolverhampton Wanderers. We have Cardiff City. And who else will come up? Who else will come up? Will we see Fulham? I think they, they could have come up today. But... I think they lost their match, but they still would have been one shy of um, Cardiff. I think. I don't know how the match went between. I think they still would have been one point shy if they won. But still, I really don't know how that fixture went. But um, Cardiff, Wolverhampton Wanderers up. And definitely nice thing to look forward to next season. But guys, let me know who you think will be relegated. Congratulations to my team, Manchester City, again for winning the 2017-18 English Premier League. We will be crowned champions officially, officially today. The trophy will be, you know, I think paraded. Um, congrats to all the players. They have been awesome. Pep Guardiola on his first Premier League trophy. And guys, you know, uh, it's been an honor be the Manchester City fan this season and you know, winning it in my debut season as a Manchester City supporter. But guys, that's all I have for now. Best of luck to Huddersfield. I hope they survive. Um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Smash the subscribe button if you're new. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Uh, until the Liverpool versus Chelsea match, I will see you. And later, I will see you in the El Clasico reaction as well because i will be watching that so guys until next time i like to say peace out rich squad <laughs>